Welcome to Jimmodism Total Nerd Channel. We're here with Mr. Xobacrow. Beautiful. And we're gonna have this little uh, we're gonna have this little battle. Because I the earlier made the Ymir, which I'm sure you have seen on the channel earlier, which is now spawned in as uh, Onyx Watch. Uh, but um, then we have Xarokrow, which is uh, spawned in on the player team, so it actually has the proper colors. And he built the Fenrir. And we are going to show off the uh, ships against uh, each other and see uh, how it works out. And we have done a little half, uh, you know, offline test kind of, but uh, it was a little bit sketchy on multiplayer. So we have now tried to spawn them in on single player and see if the results are different. Let's hope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, uh, and uh, that's why Xarver is very happy. Anyways, we're going to announce a little challenge. So we have one ship submitted um, and uh, you know we're going to Which? test it out uh, later um, against both our ship together because its material value is just so much so much higher and it's, uh, it's like double the cost yeah, of ours. <laughs> yeah it's like double the cost and it's really powerful. So Fate Ori from uh, like uh, our Discord now has submitted this build and it has the same size. So like with this, we thought that we should make a little announcement and uh, maybe uh, accept, you know, some ships for our next little battle. We are going to build a ship that uh, in the regular like uh, load menu here will cost uh, 50,000 in material. So a 50k ship. Max. Yeah, next time. Uh, this one, uh, like... Not next time, I say max! Maximum! <laughs> max? Maximum 50k yeah. material. Yeah, yeah, maximum God 50k. Damn it. <laughs> maximum 50k material. Uh, because, like, uh, the cost now, we have uh, we have the Ymir on 30, 374k, and we have the Fenrir of 365k. It's really, uh, really uh, powerful stuff. And uh, Fate Ori submitted a ship for uh, s almost 700k. So the next little challenge, we, we will accept ships. They have to be naval ships, like ships, yeah. not airships, ships. Um, and no the, submarine as well? No submarines, ships. Uh, and the maximum cost for them should be 50k. Uh, so we'll uh, try out the submitted builds during our uh, next little battle when me and Xarber have finished our own builds too. I mean, we should also mention that there's no prize or something else. <laughs> there is no. This is just some some uh, fun yeah. battles between um, uh, creators and yeah. uh, sub uh, subscribers. Um, you'll win the official glory of having your ship potentially win or, or lose on a YouTube video. That's it. Me and Xabrokrow will build a ship together that has 50k in material cost from the spawning menu. That excluding uh, the materials it can carry. The rules for building this ship is that a ship submitted to us should have maximum cost. Maximum cost of 50k excluding materials you can only have maximum 10 repair bots and we will not use any shields for this um this build yeah so that's basically the rules and it has to be a naval ship a normal surface naval ship uh, i think we will do the challenge on approximately um like perhaps two weeks after this video is out so um you have around two weeks to uh, send it in to me via our Discord or um, via a link to the Steam Workshop page if you prefer that. And of course, no obvious exploits like putting a lot of uh, um, putting a lot of propellers on sub objects or um, grav rams or uh, cut the weird stuff. Okay. We want a normal, decent ship. And if you don't think your ship is decent yourself, um, then please submit another one. Well, that's that clarification. Anyways, should we get this battle going? <sighs> yes. <laughs> right. We now click on uh, unpause. No countdown? What? 
No, we just uh, run straight on. And, um, well... Now, of course, the the Ymir has some uh, weird color scheme because it's on the Onyx watch right now, but uh, it looks fine there too. We can see Fenrir has launched its first volley. It's going towards um, the Ymir. Second volley. Pretty quick cannons there. It's the incoming fire from the Ymir to the Fenrir. First shells miss, one hit. Uh, other hits. Okay, oh, let's... there was a nasty hit on the Fenrir. That was a nasty, nasty hit. We're going to check it pretty soon. Let's see how the Ymir is faring. Uh, we have some holes in the Arthur hull, but it seems to be no substantial damage so far, except at one of the big barrels. Second volley coming in here. Let's see how it hits. Okay. Going back to the Fenrir. See how we're ah. faring there. Oh. Ooh. Oh yeah, the fast gun is oh. out. Yeah, the worst side. Yeah. Oh yeah, we have uh, we have hole breach in the side here. Yeah, not only hole hole breach, like the world battery of the crams are gone. Oh indeed, we have a hole in the top there. Something uh, turrets are missing in the back. Second uh, uh, mortar volley missing the target. Missiles coming in. Um, we have another volley of torpedoes coming in against the Fenrir here. Let's see if we get some hits there. Yep, seem to penetrate uh, through the early layers of armor. We're heading yeah. back to the Emir. I, I can already tell this battle is over because I saw the Fenrir lost its capability of turning abilities. Mm. Yeah, it seems that uh, the shells that were incoming from the Fender to the Ymir, um, some of them bounce off the hull. It seems that uh, um, the fuse that is used uh, is not inertial, so some of the shells bounce off. Yep, here we have another shell bouncing off the Ymir. Uh, around half of the turrets from one of the sides of the Emir is destroyed, however. But the. Oh! Fenrir took out one of the mortars, but the advanced cannon is still running, and one of the main cannons is running fine. Frontal cannon seems to have no problem as well. Alright, we're starting to get bigger holes in the, sign of, in the side of the Fenrir here. Um, we're starting to have some real problems yes. turning. So, no, dude, till this point, this battle is over. Yep, it's it's pretty clear um, who's going to win this fight. Um, as of this version, the Fenrir does not have any type of regenerative capabilities, uh, while the Emir has some regenerative capabilities, which means that. Uh, um, the Emir will slowly repair itself, which the Fenrir will not do. So that's a, that's a big advantage uh, right now for the Emir, of course, as we of course have some damages, but we are still repairing stuff. I can see I can see stuff is missing from the Emir that was. was missing before but it's not missing anymore basically yep I suppose we can say that the fan leader does not have any way of defend itself anymore and it nope. will not be re regenerate so we can be pretty sure that uh, this fight is won by the Emir. Well, I guess we should clean up this and we should now try to pitch the Emir with the Fenrir on the same team uh, against Fate Oris Wilhelm, I think it was called. Um, as it has double the material value, 
Uh, it uses a lot of advanced armor, uh, it uses a lot of regen, and with a test that I done a little bit before with Emir versus it, and uh, he did as well, it versus the Emir, uh, it was pretty clear that it won, and it also has a double material value, so it makes a lot of sense too. But we're going to see if our ships together will be able to defeat it. Alright, and here we have it, Fate Oris BB-1 Wilhelm, um, which is the same size ship, but uh, a little bit, like, uh, kind of twice the, uh, like, basically the cost of our ships together. Uh, but you can see we have a lot of repair bots inside, and we have some pretty heavy armor, advanced armor, and a lot of uh, lambs. Um, it is able to take out many of the incoming cram shells, so we kind of expect this build to win anyways. And of course over here we have the Fender and the Ymir side by side here in their proper colors. Um, and we're just going to, yeah, unpause. All right, so we have some pretty long, day, long distance battles here. Okay. Um, now, the Wilhelm does tend to target the biggest ship, I think the AI is set up in that way, uh, and the Fenrir is slightly smaller than the Emir, at least in material, so I think maybe that's why it targets the Emir. Yeah, my ra the range of the turrets are not really good though. Alright, it seems that the... AI is perhaps set up to be on a close range for the Fender. Yeah, it is. All right. Well, let's see if it. Uh, oh, oh, now incoming now we got missiles on the Fenrir. Yeah, and now it also starts to target the Wilhelm. I I'm so proud of my uh, of my anti-missile turrets, though, man. <laughs> they are so good. Do you have? Uh, is it the the small turrets on the side or those? No, no, no! Look, look on, look on the cram. There's an APS uh, between. On on the back, there are also. Oh, so you have uh, anti-missile APSs as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they seem to be more effective, uh, because I know that uh, we don't have any incoming missiles right now, but. I know that the Emir has a problem of uh, taking out incoming missiles. Did we took out the LAMS? It looks like it, dude. That's really surprising if we were able to take out the AMS already. See, we have a volley coming in here from the Emir. No, Fender, it missed. Uh, we have, of course. Oh, we have a missile streak incoming from the. Uh, yeah, the LAMS is pretty. It's offline. Well, that's really nice because the LAMS were able to take out our stuff really effectively. Ooh, nice. Was able to cut off a shot there with a turret. With a shot, a turret. I cut, cut off a turret with a bunch of. Oh no, lanes. Oh, no, lanes are online. Lanes are working. Yeah, I see. Maybe we just had some power shortage. And uh, Fate Ori also mentioned that uh, doesn't know what really happened there, but apparently the version um, of this ship is a little bit old, so um, there is a better version. But <laughs> I guess we're I guess we're glad that we we don't have the best version of it then. <laughs> Maybe we have a chance. Oh, you're pretty close, man. Oh, missiles incoming on the fan wheel. I just love the volley of the fan wheel because it, it's so uh, it's like so much shells. Yeah, it looks really cool when they're incoming, and uh, um, since you get a lot of volume with the incoming shots, it's a high, it's a very likely chance that the you know some of the shits, uh, so, some yeah. of the shots will hit. Yeah, but the accuracy seems like pretty bad. It's like the AI, it's like it's controlled by a drunk AI. Oh no, yeah, this I one actually hit it. Wow, I'm surprised though. Yeah, maybe it's a, a, a little balancing issue inside of the AI, perhaps. 
I mean, my fast shooting turret is also something, at least a bit. Oh, yeah. Well, we're lagging a lot, kind of, with all the explosions, incoming <laughs> yeah. projectiles, and all the lands, EMP damage. I mean, this is pretty much, at this point, I would say, this is pretty much on a, uh, pretty much on a stamina fight. Yeah, and the uh, thing is that uh, Fate Oris Wilhelm has a lot of stamina. The repair bots, the repair bot count in this thing is pretty insane. But um, my cramps came in. Did you see that? I saw that. Seems that the APS system of the Emir seems to still be online, but heck, I mean, Wilhelm has a scary regenerative power. You can just look on the on the side of the shell here. You can see that it's damaged, but it's already repaired. Like you can see this little block here. You can probably see. Yep, now it's there again, replaced. I mean, uh, for the bat, uh, for the yeah, tournament we do, we should make a rule for having like a maximum amount of repair bots and no shields. <laughs> I mean, repair bots is is really good to have, but I mean, if we have 50k, I think it's perhaps harder to make it sustain and <laughs> be alive so long. I can like already see someone is submitting one block with 49,000 repair bots. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I don't know, we'll see. Um... Damn, this is a hell of a lot of a long battle, dude. Yeah, it's gonna take forever as well. You can see the Emir here. It's uh, still going strong. Replaced a lot of the damaged blocks. But hey, um, at least, at least, yeah. my my Fenrir proves he's a very good support ship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we have a lot of good incoming uh, artillery volleys coming in there that... Uh, can't get shot down completely, like all of them. But it's yeah, as but you we, say. we basically can't take this out because all of the repair stuff and the shields and Ooh. anything else, it's like. No, nuts. but we did take out the radar tower now. Oh yeah, I see. So I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't say this battle is over yet. I expect the Wilhelm to win, but we do have an equal material matching. Uh, the Emir oh, yeah. does regenerate, the Fenrir does not re regenerate, but it's not the largest ship on the battlefield, so the Fenrir is still completely fine. So, we have a small chance of just spam killing this ship. <laughs> um, At some point, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the strong, the strong point of the Emir is that it's able to deal a lot of damage in a short set, like, while. But damn, no, it's like, oh no, it already kind of rebuilt the later tower. Yeah, I see. <laughs> oh, wow. There's so many shots. That's why I gonna tell ya, we need a maximum amount of robot, uh, of repair bot placements for this battle. But I mean, thing is, like in campaign when you play, you can have as many repair bots as you want, it's just a matter of cost. And if the best way is to have a lot of repair bots, I mean... I can't really say that's wrong. In that case, we have to do some kind of rule that you can't have any repair bots and no shields. I mean, no shields, I'm totally up to that, for sure. Yeah, but I think it's too late to announce that, uh, if we would make that. It has to be for some future stuff. Why is it too late though? Yeah, because we announced it in the beginning of the video and 
not all people hang around for the like in ter like this is a slow battle yeah and do you really want to have every battle like this like 30 minutes <laughs> I mean, if we do a battle, we have to kind of broadcast the whole thing to like, for there to be some kind of proof. Um, kinda, it's like, if we don't, it's not really, it's not really telling. But yeah, having a lot of repair bots makes the battles so slow. They do. Let's see how the EMU is faring on here. Main turrets online. Some of the turrets on the side damaged. APS online. Some missing blocks, but no substantial damage so far. But of course, we do repair it all the while. <laughs> Where's the fan we are actually? <laughs> <laughs> oh, all the way back there, okay. We can fly up there and check it out. It's uh, keeping its uh, distance, you could say. Yeah, but that's weird. It seems to be doing completely fine. I don't see much damage. No, on the, the back, barrels. there's one, two it missing. The cramps are a bit damaged. Oh, right. Yeah, where we have one turret missing. Some damaged, and uh, some of the turrets are indeed down. <laughs> yep. God Go damn it, dude. I, I gonna call this a draw, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like... It's pretty... It regenerates so quickly, it's... Yeah, we don't have a lot of damage on this thing. I think that because of earlier tests... It is likely that the Wilhelm will eventually win. But... I think it will take kind of... Maybe an hour or something. Yeah. Because the Emir has also quite the repair bots and because of the armor layering and compartments inside this build, the Emir can take a tremendous amount of beating before it gets unworthy of battle. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll call this a draw, but yeah. we'll say that it's likely that the Wilhelm will win in the end. But since we have a kind of equally matched uh, like cost here, and as long as the Emir stays online, the Fenrir won't really get too much targeted. So it will it will take a very long time before the ship starts to target the Fenrir. And since the yeah, Fenrir that's... won't regenerate, uh, I think the battle will turn at that point, but... Yeah, as said, the Ymir can take a tremendous amount of beating, uh, too. But the Wilhelm can take even more. And it regenerates so quickly, like, oh my god. Oh my god, yes, I just saw that on the stone blocks right there. Yeah. Instantly, in one second, like 11 blocks got replaced. What the freaking hell? Yep. Repair this is no is... fun, man. <laughs> yeah, repair bots, like you can see all the repair bots flying around here on the Emir. We have a lot of them. They're repairing the outer hull here. Um, yeah. And, I mean, it's not really practical to have a build without repair bots. Um, but if we have very much of them, like, a battle can be never ending. So it's a little bit on, like, good and evil with the repair bots. You kind of need them, but they also prolong the battle so much. Mm. You can see the lamps there just taking out some of the yeah. cramshells are coming. 
really powerful stuff there. That's some heavy lambs. You know, lambs are really useful and, and good like that, but um, I think that uh, the kind of diesel punk feeling of just having heavy cannons and summer missiles, maybe, but it just big cannons and ships and wood and metal is so kind of cool. I'm a little bit reluctant to use shields and lamps and stuff in my builds, but yeah. Oh well, I suppose uh, we might as well call this uh, battle a draw to the favor of uh, Wilhelm to be a likely win. Um, yes. Yeah. Probably Wilhelm. Wilhelm will win eventually, but it's probably going to take an hour, so um, we'll just call it a draw in the favor of the Wilhelm. Well, um, thanks for thanks to Fate Ori for submitting this ship, and uh, hope folks will want to submit ships of uh, 50, 50k uh, cost limit. Um, and that's of course in the in the load save vehicle menu here. You can see the um, cost of the build. And um, well, lords, it's kind of it's starting to lag a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So so we'll uh, we'll try that out when we have. Uh... Wait. Is Wilhelm is yeah, submerged? Yeah, I was, I was going to say. <laughs> it's not even on the surface anymore. And this is interesting. Damn, is the material storage empty or something? It's almost starting to look like the battle is turning. Huh. Okay, we are not gonna call this a draw, we call this a win for us! <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. I don't know. Do we have? Any... It's, a, it, it's a very filthy window. <laughs> no, no, we have repair bots online here. I don't know how much material it has left, but it's starting to look a little bit sad. Maybe we. I mean, it kind of looks like we burned too much uh, holes into the ship, into the hull. Yeah. I don't know if it will be... It's hard to say if it will recover or not, because <laughs> when it's underwater... So deep. <laughs> no, but like the, the EMI has some torpedoes, but it's just, a, it's just a secondary system. Oh, we actually have a crab shell! <laughs> <laughs> no! No, sad crab! <laughs> Damn it. Uh, this, is, this is starting to get a little bit interesting, and we also have... <laughs> hey, it's launching missiles, but I don't know if they ever, ever will hit something. Like, is it regenerating anymore? It's hard to say. I don't know if it lost too much material or whatever. Oh, big chunk of the turret there. Yeah. Yeah, like the Emir has... The Fenrir doesn't have any torpedoes, or, or does it? No, just no. cramps in the APS. <laughs> just cramps in the APS. Yeah, so, so the Emir is providing some firepower against it, but it's not much. Like, we, ha we have some uh, small missiles which have a secondary propeller, but unfortunately they're blind underwater. Um, so they're re only really useful if they're heading towards a target. Hmm. It's looking like it's not regenerating much anymore, so it's a little bit hard to say. I guess we have to change the... <laughs> You can't even see it anymore. <laughs> no, it's like underground. I don't know. I think I think this will be a like never-ending thing. Yeah. But it, I guess I we'll mean, just. I mean, come on, come on. We still call this a draw. Yeah, this is a draw. Him. 
<laughs> I think it's not a draw in the favor of Wilhelm anymore because it seems that it's oh, it's kind of repairing. It's hard to say if it will recover or not, but I think it will take very long time. Um, so my thought actually is we uh, made too much breaches in too much uh, air pockets. Yeah. And because this ship, it's super heavy. I mean, it's using heavy armor. It's using a lot of stone. Um, that's why it's sinking. Because I also saw it's using a lot of uh, propellers to uh, mm. uh, to manage the altitude. Yeah, to float, keep afloat. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean. mean not now the problem on the fan rear is that the cramps are set it up to minus three altitude. Hmm. Yeah, they will never reach the target. Yeah, I mean the only one that's dealing damage right now is the uh, is the emit, but it's dealing real slow damage. So I don't even know where the ship is anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here! Oh, it's on the, it's on the sea level now. Oh, lords! That's, um, that's an interesting torpedo. <laughs> yeah, why does? Why don't you blow up, stupid thing? <laughs> blow up, damn it! It looks like it's pushing the. It yeah. looks like it's pushing yeah. the. <laughs> that's what I thought too. <laughs> <laughs> it's like forcing it down to the ground. Get down! <laughs> Um, yeah, like this is definitely a draw. The Emir will continue to deal damage to the uh, Wilhelm, but the Wilhelm will keep re regenerating. It is a possibility that the Wilhelm will eventually get well and get up to the surface and start fighting again, but this is a draw. This is a draw. It will take ages yeah. anyways. But you know, um, the Wilhelm is a very compact but expensive build. Uh, so, but uh, you know, the general, the general values between the the Wilhelm versus Fenrir and Emir together is kind of the same. So it's a it's it's a fair fight. But that's just the draw. <laughs> Interesting turnout in the end there. I was really expecting it to not sink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that's a little bit happy surprise because I didn't think this would happen. Oh, um, oh, 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 oh. Should we also mention that we participate as Coop team? Oh, yes. Um, that's right. <laughs> yeah, so if we have several ships submitted to us, um, we'll pitch them against our ships. But basically, uh, the rule as is right now is just uh, a limit of 50k. So yep. a naval ship, 50k, and we'll make a little small kind of tournament thing. Oh well. I think this video has been drawn out uh, uh, enough now. We can call yeah. it draw a little bit uh, unexpected there in the end. Um, but well. Hope folks enjoyed this little video and uh, do subscribe for more videos and uh, like the video if you did enjoy this little test here battle. And the tournament. And the tournament. Oh lords, now I have a FPS of... Oh, yeah, it's, it's time to end! It's time to end! <laughs> Whew, I, I just paused the game here. The FPS was dying. I think I think the game is telling me to stop this video before it crashes. Yep. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. This is Jim and Sabacrow. Signing out. Bye bye. See you.